Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Cooley from the Red Beard Podcast, and I'm chilling here with my man Hector Rodriguez. What's up? And, uh, Hector's got a book over here. It's I'm going to grab it for you. Hell's Blood. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this book, man? Uh, it's based uh, on a little bit of a San- Santeria legend about a god that creates opals for to impress the goddess, but what happens is man gets their hands on it, and each one will have like different abilities when they get the opals. Nice. Uh, this guy is the uh, penciler, the creator, right? And uh, you also write the book? I do now. Uh, that one I wrote. Uh, the ones before that, I kind of co-wrote. What's interesting is that it actually goes straight from pencil to the page uh, without being inked and uh, then colored. Uh, you have somebody else do the coloring? Yep. Uh, Sebastian Chang. He works for, like, uh, actually right now he's doing um, Transformers is what he's coloring. So yeah, he's Really? Like the IDW? Yeah. Nice. That's awesome, man. Um, I love what they're doing with that stuff, too. Uh, how long have you been doing comics for? Uh, seriously, since 06. Any, uh, any other books that may have come out that we would know about? Mm, probably not. All independent stuff. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff for other independent guys, but not, nothing that's really blown up, unfortunately. <laughs> Anything that you think we could benefit from checking out? Uh, well, I mean, all these other guys that I got on the table, they're not my books, but it's all through our company, GWP. And a lot of the, the titles from there, we got probably like maybe six, eight titles so far. And we, we're going into other titles. Like we have maybe another five different titles coming out. All right. And you're with, uh, so you're with DWP. Is that a self, do you guys self-publish or, yeah, I mean, is that like? G- GWP, Gilworks Publications. And Hector's also working on a book called Battle Arms that's going to be coming out in the near future. Uh, it has to do with animism. Uh, Hector, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, animism is a belief that everything in the world has a spirit. So whether it's a rock or a fish, it has a spirit. So my, my thought was, like, uh, I would start giving humans that spirit. And uh, I, I want them to be kind of like, you know, like a werewolf type thing that, people are scared of not I don't want to do like the street fighter thing that everybody's like oh cool street fighter yeah. you know I, I want people like when they think of it kind of like the big monsters type of thing so man I got a couple questions for you too um, I think one of the things that really attracted me over to your booth was just like these mashups that you're doing which I think are badass so um, can you talk a little bit about like how these mashups came about because they're very unique I think the one that caught my eye was the Joker Wolverine which was like crazy like that drew me right over here so how how did these mashups come about? Well, I, I kind of got tired of going to shows and seeing mashups that didn't make any sense. Like, I, I don't want to call the guy out, but I saw a mashup of Iron Man and Superman, but it was Iron Man in his suit with an S on his chest and a cape. So to me, it was like, what's he need the cape for? You know what I mean? He's got jets, so it, it was kind of weird for me. So I actually started with... Um, with a weird one, which was Afro Samurai and Thor. Okay. Right? Oh, wow, that's cool. And uh, actually, people were telling me, why are you drawing yourself? But I was like, uh, <laughs> okay, no, no problem. <laughs> but I started with that, and then one, one of the ones that I thought would be really cool would be Batman and Punisher, simply because they're both, you know, right yeah, they, they, they're both uh, vigilantes, but that's a big difference between them as far as, you know, so one guy saw that and he said, well, that'd be the Batman that Joker would meet once. So then the one that caught your eye, I was like, well, Joker needs something. So I, I did that. And then it just started going from there. Uh, there's a Hulk Superman on that side uh, that a lot of people love. Uh, I got a bunch of them in my head. Yeah, we were I talking just gotta, about that. He's got some I, stuff. Uh, I gotta. He's got some ideas for Predator and Alien, which might be kind of cool. You guys know I'm like huge fans of that, so that's cool. And what what happened was I, I was in New York, uh, I think it was last year, and a guy came through and he was like, "Man, you're the king of mashups." So like that stuck, and everybody every time, you know, they're like, "Oh, the king of mashups." So I'm like, "Ah, I take it." <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't give myself the name, so I'm I'm it's cool with that. Title. Yeah, thank you. Well, uh, man, I just want to thank you for uh, taking the time to talk to us. You got some awesome stuff. I'm actually going to grab a couple of these from you right now. But, uh, but thanks a lot, man. Nice work. It's nice talking to you. Uh, okay.
Okay, that's cool. I'll, I'll do that, but you guys got listeners, right? Yeah, definitely. So I'll give you, you could pick two more, and then that could be like a giveaway if you like. Oh, or you or you could keep them, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, yeah, nobody won that, yeah. No, that would be cool, man. I appreciate All right. that. All right. Yeah. All right, sweet. Thanks, Thanks man. man.